Okay, so he said it's something missing from the food. What what's missing from the authentic taste, according to your opinion? Hello. This is Meow. real life. Meow. <laughs> Meow. Oh my god. Anyway. Um, but like I tell all young ladies. You're in a relationship until you have a ring on your finger, you're single, okay? You're engaged, you're single. You know, living with your baby father, you're single. So until he puts a ring on it and, you know, you are a pronounced man and wife under the side of God, technically you are still single. Hey guys, today I'm at Muse Beauty Speeds getting my hair did and this salon I could say is top notch, luxurious, welcoming, excellent customer service and your girl Renata hooked my hair up. So definitely check them out if you're in Pennsylvania. Bye. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm starting the vlog off on Tuesday. Um, July 25th and tonight I felt like some Chinese food but I didn't really want to order it. I actually wanted to make it myself so I decided to make some Chinese chicken and broccoli. So here are the recipe ingredients. I got some cornstarch, some sugar, some rice cooking wine, sesame oil, um, dark and light soy sauce and then I got this um, sorry this white pepper right um i got this i got this white pepper as well now i'm allergic to oysters but i bought this whole scene sauce they said it's a good alternative some chicken stock and some organic broccoli for us here i have my chicken freshly sliced so now I'm going to get ready to mix all the ingredients, um, the sauce into a bowl. I let the chicken marinate for 10 minutes. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. All right, guys. So we're going to start by putting on our safety gloves because I don't want my hands to be filled with salmonella. So the first thing we're going to do is get our marinade together. So we're gonna add two, three, we're gonna add three tablespoons, I'm sorry, of water, one tablespoon of oyster or Hossein sauce, one teaspoon of cornstarch, and one and a half tablespoon teaspoons of vegetable oil. And then we'll let it sit for 10 minutes. So here's me adding the three tablespoons of water. Boom, there for the homies. <laughs> okay. Then we are going to add one teaspoon, one tablespoon, sorry, one tablespoon of oyster sauce. So I'm going to use the Hossein sauce. We're going to put that in there. Put a little bit more for the homies. Okay, so that's the Hossein sauce. Okay, now we're going to add one teaspoon of cornstarch. So, yeah, one teaspoon of cornstarch. So this is the cornstarch that we're just gonna add in here. Okay. And then we're going to add one and a half teaspoons of vegetable oil. So we're going to add that. So that's one. Put a little bit more for the homies. Okay. And then half a tablespoon. I guess that's like a little bit more for the homies. There you go. Okay, and then we're going to mix this up a bit. Okay, 
Now we're getting that corn spot all mixed up. Okay. And then we're going to let this chicken soak. This is more of a, a same sauce. Maybe a little bit of corn starch goes a long way, but it says now we're going to add the chicken in here to really let it soak up all of that um, marinade. Okay. So we're really going to mix it around. Really letting that chicken soak it all up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're gonna let all the chicken like soak it all up. And we're gonna set this aside. If you done mixed it, make sure all the chicken gets like a good, good rub down in this marinade. So now we're gonna set this aside for 10 minutes, okay? So I'll be back and we'll make our soy sauce, or I guess beet soy chicken and broccoli sauce. I guess that's what they're called. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're going to make the brown sauce for the dish. So we're gonna add um, one cup one and one third cup of chicken stock. So I'm gonna add one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's one third cup of chicken stock. We're adding three teaspoons of sugar. Hold on, we're gonna add three teaspoons of sugar. Now we're gonna add three teaspoons of sugar. That's one, two, okay. Okay, we're gonna add three tablespoons of Regular soy sauce. Tablespoons. Okay. And then we're gonna add four teaspoons of the dark soy sauce. So. Let me get that for you. Ugh. This is hard to open. So we're gonna do four tape teaspoons of the dark soy sauce. So that's one, two, three. So that's four teaspoons of the dark soy sauce. Then we need two tablespoons of the Hossein sauce or oyster sauce. So that's two tablespoons. So that's one. And two. Okay. I really want to get all this sauce up out of here, so. Okay, so that's two tablespoons of the whole thing sauce. Okay. And then we're going to do a quarter teaspoon or two teaspoons of sesame oil. So, yeah, two teaspoons of sesame oil so why don't we add that now all 
Okay, so that's one, two. Okay. And then we're going to do And now we do the white pepper. So we're gonna do a quarter teaspoon of white pepper. Oops, my camera went a little crazy. Okay, so let's see what a quarter teaspoon looks like. This is a half. Oh, so. I never had white pepper, but we'll see how it tastes. Okay, so this is quarter teaspoon of the white pepper. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we're just gonna mix this up. to cooking our chicken. And now I'm gonna add the chicken. That was a fine. Mm -hmm. And this one. And I'm starting to let the chicken stir for three minutes. Thank you. 
between the ginger. And we're going to put that on medium. We're going to mix that up too. And we're also going to add the rice wine. I'm sure the wine is going to be in the middle. Okay. And then it says add our salt mixture. Stir in the sauce mixture. So let we've added sauce mixture in here. And then we're going to put, oh lord, hold on, So now we're going to add this cornstarch mixture to this. Let it thicken like a gravy. This don't look like the tiny sauce to me, but it says. Oh, now we're starting to thicken. They said we can add more. I want my sauce a little darker. I think I may add some more of the dark. Mm-hmm. I'm going to a little darker. Yep. I think you want to sauce a little bit more darker. And yeah, that's how I want my sauce. Really, really dark. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And now we're gonna add the chicken in here. Okay. 
And we're gonna add the broccoli in here too. I think I need a bigger block, but whatever. Wow, this is really looking like the, the sauce. Well, we gotta stir this around. So it's starting to look like it. I mean, maybe I put a little bit too much corn sauce, but we'll see how it tastes. Okay. So I'm gonna just let this sit and cook for a little bit more. Over some low heat. And we'll come back and see what it looks like. So for dinner tonight, we're having some red wine, right, babe? Um, this is the wine, Josh Reservoir. That's some bougie North Coast Cabernet Sauvignon. That's the communion wine. So here's the taste test. Babe is trying my homemade Chinese food, and he's gonna give us his honest, honest opinion. Uh, does it taste authentic like Chinese food? And does it taste good? Okay. I think he's trying another piece. I guess two pieces he has to really taste first to make his mind up and tell us his reaction. Does it taste authentic and does it taste good? Tastes good. What'd you say? Oh, it tastes good. Does it taste like authentic Chinese food? No. Don't worry, it has to be. It tastes good. Some guys take my advice about how you have it. I mean you can't even lie for the camera and say whatever. How the wine taste? Dry. I know that's right. Okay, bye. <laughs> welcome back to my channel today is thursday july 27th i didn't vlog much this week because it was a very busy work week as well as it's hot and when it's really really hot outside i do not go anywhere i don't do anything because i have um chronic fatigue syndrome so when it's really hot or when i get stressed um i do suffer from extreme tiredness um so all my cft people out there you know what I'm talking about but I did order something from Costco and I'm so excited to show you guys um so let me show you so I ordered the I call it baby list but people call it babyless pro the nano titanium trifecta now mind you babyless is pretty pricey and it's very good to like curl um, flat iron and blow dry so this was such a deal at Costco for all three was $119 I'm gonna show you the Costco deal so for all my Costco members out there this is definitely worth it um, you got a blow dryer flat iron and curling iron so the box comes like this I opened it but you gotta flip it over <laughs> to really see everything so here's a flat iron Here's the curling iron and here's the blow dryer. And I can't wait to use these. I think this is gonna be amazing, especially when I go on vacation. Um, I have vacation coming up in August and I'm, uh, I'm thinking about either 
getting some straight hair, curly hair, whatever, but, well, maybe even braids, but I'll surprise you. I'll let y'all see, but for sure, I am excited about receiving this. So definitely go to your local Costco if they have it or order from Costco.com. Hey guys. So since I didn't vlog much this week, I figured I'll do a little Q&A, talk about myself a little bit, give you guys a little inside scoop about me. So my name is Lisa. You know, I originally hail from Brooklyn, New York. Um, and now I'm in, you know, Jersey. I couldn't take New York no more. I couldn't take Brooklyn. Brooklyn has become very gentrified, but um, the prices are insane out there. And I ain't paying all that money just like to work and pay bills. Like I do like to enjoy myself, enjoy life, go out. And in New York, all you do is work to pay bills. And I don't want to do that. So I moved to the suburban area of life. Taxes are still a little bit high, but I'm cool. So a little bit about why I started my YouTube channel. I really wanted an outlet. Like I work a lot. Like I told you guys before, I'm in an MBA program studying to get my MBA. Um, I do have a son. He's older. He's like 22 and I'm not going to tell you my age, but you know, I'm a tenderoni. Ew. <laughs> But um, I just wanted an outlet besides work and school and like the everyday routine. Um, I am in a relationship, um, but like I tell all young ladies, you're in a relationship until you have a ring on your finger, you're single, okay? You're engaged, you're single. You know, living with your baby father, you're single. So until he puts a ring on it, and, you know, you are pronounced man and wife under the sight of God. Technically, you are still single. But I am in a committed um, relationship with a man who is fine. And hopefully it will go there. But um, if it doesn't, then, you know, I enjoy the ride while it lasts. So we'll see. Um, I do like to travel. Um, but I don't really travel a lot. But I travel mostly like with my family, my friends, and my boyfriend. So next month, August, I got two trips coming up. I'm not going to give it away yet. But I have a family trip coming up with my mom, my son, and my aunts. And then I have a, another vacation. So I'm excited to show you guys what that's about. But mostly, you know, I'm just chilling, watching, cooking, um, you know, really looking at these reality TVs, I need to come off my airways um, because they're starting to get boring. Um, I don't really, I put makeup on, but I'm mostly au natural um, because I don't really know how to put on makeup. And honestly, um, I like doing my hair more. And when I go out, I like do my nails and stuff, I like bright colors. So um, yeah, but other than that, that's me. If you have any questions for me, just let me know in the chat. I hopefully, you guys like my content and you definitely subscribe and like to keep things going. Um, that would be great. My TikTok is popping, like I said. I have a very active TikTok. I do a lot of funny stuff there. Not funny stuff, but I am like a, you know, camera hog on um, TikTok. Um, I do a lot of my previews there that I bring over to YouTube. So I'm just really trying to figure out what this YouTube and this social media thing is about. And hopefully, um, you guys come along with the, along with the ride for me. So yeah, I just wanted to stop in and say, Hey, do a little Q and A. I am going to drop this blog vlog tonight. Um, it's not going to be much. It's literally going to be a cooking recipe that I did and, um, my base response and a little, um, I guess, opening of some stuff that I bought. But I hope you enjoy and I'll talk to you guys soon. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And, you know, follow me on TikTok. Follow me on IG, Lisa the Body. So talk to you guys later.